is our only worthy answer to salvation of life and the soul. Why is he so worthy that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess? Why do we put Jesus Christ up above any and all? Simply because in verse number one, who hath believed our report to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? But he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and the root, and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness when we shall see him. There is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not sure. He has borne our grief, carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded, even though we rejected him. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. 